Testing, testing, testing. <laughs> Clean and crisp, baby. Clean and crisp. We're good. The Dark Horse has landed. So there's a new manufacturer in town by the name of Steam Angel, and they're the company that's manufacturing this Dark Horse RDA. It's a 22 millimeter dripper made of 316 stainless steel. And this RDA has something I have never seen out of an RDA stock. It's got the most airflow options I've ever seen. 16, 16, I keep saying that, 16 airflow options. You can run this thing in single coil mode, dual coil mode, or quad coil mode. You guys know how I feel about a device having that single coil option. Love it. Not only can you run it in single, dual, or quad, but you have options for each coil mode. In dual coil mode, you can run this thing in 12 different configurations. What? And the same also goes for quad coil mode as well. And in single coil mode, you can run this thing in four different configurations. The most options I've ever seen for airflow. It's crazy, crazy. And the reason why I'm so psyched about this, about these 16 different options, is because airflow is one of the biggest key factors in vaping, okay? Without airflow, you ain't got nothing. So right now I'm running this thing in single coil mode. I've got the airflow set to it. It's most closed off setting. The coil I have in here is a 0.6 ohm build using 24 gauge canthal. Got her sitting on the Segeli 100 watt and I'm vaping her right now at 30 watts. Now I got her at 40 watts. And she's blowing, she's chucking. I say that about all these RDAs, but you know what? The fact of the matter is, all these RDAs that I've been reviewing lately, the high-end RDAs, even some of the mid-range RDAs, the ones that have been engineered correctly, anytime you have airflow, and this has great airflow, but a lot of these other devices that have great airflow, they're going to chuck as well. So I got to say it, it's got to be chuck certified. And this is chuck certified. So that's completely closed off. Flavor, whoo, flavor's great. Okay, compared to something like the Tugboat version two, it's right there with it. As far as something like the Plume Veil or the Veritas, it's almost there, it's just not quite there. But up until this point, the Plume Veil had the most airflow options that I've seen out of a high-end RDA. But this thing has got it beat. This thing's got everything beat as far as that. As far as that category, options, options, options. I mean, this goes on forever and ever. So now I've opened her up even wider at 40, 40 watts. Still retaining the flavor. I'm gonna go ahead, take this cap off, and then I'm gonna take the outside barrel and I'm gonna flip it over. And what that does is it increases the airflow. Take her out, flip her. And in the same mode it was flipped before, it now has even more airflow. Airflow hitting that coil, it's actually split by a single line in the middle, a single piece of metal. You'll see it, I'll show you in the close-ups, I promise. Put the cap back on. And in that mode, you're obviously gonna lose a little bit of flavor. It's not like it was when it was closed off. You know what? Let's see if we can go ahead and retain or get some of this flavor back in this widest air hole setting in single coil mode. All I'm going to do is just take the wattage up, put some more juice through those coils. Okay, take her up to 50 watts. Let's see. 50. Woo! <laughs> it's a hot, hot vape. Way hotter than before. The flavor's good. I wouldn't say it's as good. You know, I like to vapor at a little bit lower. I would say between 35 and 45 watts, I get I get the flavor that I like. I mean, it's extreme. It's extreme in my book. But you know what? This is a video, and I'm trying to get you guys pumped! pumped. Okay, because I'm pumped. So we're going to go ahead, take her up even more. So the point to all that shenanigans was this thing can not only chuck the vapor, it's for the cloud chasers. Obviously, this thing caters to the cloud chasers out there, but it also can cater to the flavor chasers as well, like myself. I mean, I've been using this thing for the past week and a half, and I have been really enjoying it for the flavor. For the flavor. I mean, I can close her off like I just showed you and get fantastic flavor. It's right there with the Tugboat version 2. This thing is slowly becoming in my top three. I mean, like I said, I've only been using this for a week and a half. It's 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 right behind the Plume Veil and the Veritas as far as flavor. Chucking the Vapor, I mean, it beats them. It beats them both. Like the little boy, the little boy chucks it, but this thing is like the little boy with way more options and you get better flavor. On the deck, you have a gold-plated 
positive post slash pin. It goes all the way down to the 510 connection pin, which is also gold plated. The threads, buttery smooth threads, fits on all my devices, all my variable voltage, variable wattage, all my mechanical mods. The holes in those posts, holy moly, the holes in the negative and the positive post, 2.7 millimeters in diameter. Those vapors that like to use the lower resistance, the lower gauge wire, you're going to love this. So the negative posts are milled into the deck but it's not milled into the deck. It's not like a part of the deck like all these other RDAs, like the Tobe, for example. You've got a space between the outside edge of each negative post. And just like my review on the Tugboat version 2, I was a big fan of that. You get different flavor off this. You get different flavor off the V2 compared to those other devices where the negative posts are actually a part of the deck, okay? And there's no space on the outside edge. You get different flavor. I find this to be refreshing, especially if I want to get more of a chill vape, vape something like at 30 watts, you know, with it closed off at single air hole mode or single coil mode. The reason why I'm chuckling is because 30 watts to some guys out there is not really a chill vape, is it? I know some of you guys that like to vape at, you know, 11 watts, 12 watts max. You're like, what the fart? 30 watts? Yeah, 30 watts is pretty chill to me. 25, 30 watts, I mean, that's a chill vape. This thing comes with a black nylon monster drip tip. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually posted a picture with the white monster drip tip. Okay, the white monster drip tip is a limited edition version. Mike over at Vape Happy is selling a limited number of those that come or that have or have the option to have the uh, the white Delrin drip tip, monster drip tip, plus the white Delrin adapter. But this thing comes with the black adapter and then the black monster Delrin drip tip. I almost forgot to mention this, but the gold plated positive post, it's got a flattened design to prevent from that positive post spinning. For example, you got a lot of these guys that are dealing with 18 gauge, 20 gauge wire, which is shit is thick, thick, thick. And when you do so, when you're dealing with thick wire like that, it can cause that positive post to spin. Well, this, you don't have to worry about that. Not nearly as much. I haven't had any issues with it. And I've dealt with 20 gauge wire. I've used 20 gauge. I haven't used 18. 18 is just golly crazy. You guys use that 18 gauge wire. 20 gauge is freaking thick enough for me. But with the 20 gauge, I haven't had issues with the positive post spinning. And I believe it's because of the way this thing is designed, engineered, and that helps. Back to this Delrin drip tip adapter. It comes with an adapter so you are able to use the other drip tips that you own, the regular size drip tips that you own. For example, all the drip tips that I've used has fit, has fit snugs a bug, compatible. <laughs> oh, yeah! Time to measure some dicks! <laughs> Look at this drip tip. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I popped out the black Delrin drip tip adapter and put this wide ass, the biggest freaking drip tip that I've ever seen. Obviously, this thing does come with this dark horse, but uh, talk about measuring some dicks. Mine's bigger than yours. I mean, it makes the draw even airier, even when this thing closed off all the way like I have it. But for dripping, whew, you can drip. Damn, I mean, how, how wide is that? I'll have the millimeters in diameter on the screen right now. That's how wide this sucker is. The drip well, you guys will see it in the close-ups, but the drip well is about average. It has a Phillips head screw option, so the three Phillips head screws, the big three Phillips head screws that sit on those posts, that screw into the posts, that make connection with the leads, you can use those. Or it comes with grub screws and an Allen key tool. You can use those instead of the Phillips head screws. Pretty cool. And I know some people have had issues with the Phillips head screws backing out. And I think that's why Steam Angel, the company that manufactures this product, they include two options. Because the grub screws don't tend to back out as much as the Phillips head. With these, I haven't had issues with them backing out. With other devices, I've had issues in the past, but not with this. It's not, it's not bad. One thing that's really cool about this product, when I first received it, pull it out of the pack. I remember Mike telling me over at Vape Happy, dude, you can just go ahead and vape it. And I was like, man, I got to clean this sucker because every device that I've purchased or that I receive for reviews, I have to clean them. I have to stick them in the dishwasher, clean them for a good hour, let them soak, let them soak in some gain, get that machine oil off of there because machine oil is a huge nuisance and you get machine oil in your mouth vaping, oh man, you can't get that taste out for, for days. Well, with this, this thing came clean. 
I mean, it was like, whoa. I pulled it out of the pack, pulled on it, smelled it, smelled the deck. It smelled like clean laundry. For an RDA, I've never seen a device come this clean. No machine oil. It was literally, you could pull it out of the package and you could vape without having any issues. I asked him, I said, what's Steam Angel doing? And he said, they're cleaning their stuff. They're making sure that their quality control is up to snuff, is, you know, top notch, and they're cleaning all their product. And it shows. I mean, the machining, top notch machining, threads on this. Okay, the adjustable airflow has got a cap that screws in to the barrel, which I'll show you guys. But those threads are super, super, super smooth. I mean, super smooth, some of the smoothest. And they're the tiny, tiny, tiny threads. And it's hard to get that. For example, the little boy has the same type of design, very similar, where the top cap, it screws into the barrel. Those threads, while they're smooth and they're great quality, it's nothing. Got nothing on this. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, the price. The price is like $79.99. It's not like, it is $79.99. And that is cheap, man. Cheap. Anything below 100 bucks in my book is good. But $79.99 for something like this, it's a steal. So those are the massive amount of pros. Now the cons, one, it leaks. And it's going to, just like I mentioned before in one of the previous videos, the more holes you have, the easier it is for juice to escape. Earlier in this video, juice just leaked. I had it tilted down and boom, it went all over my mod. Bam, everywhere. So I just make sure when I'm vaping, I keep the air hole facing up, especially if I'm using it in single air hole mode or single coil mode. And if I'm using it in dual coil mode, I make sure that the air holes are in between when I tilt it up, if that makes sense. Now the juice does not leak from the base, just the air holes. And that leads me to my second con. The top cap fits on the deck a little too loose. I mean, this thing pops off with ease. It's convenient, but it presents a problem when I screw it on the devices because sometimes I overscrew it and then since it's too loose, it spins on me. And the last con is it's not accessible. This thing, you go to Vape Happy site, you gotta get on a wait list. I hate that, guys. You know how I feel about wait lists. I hate it for you guys. That sucks, man. I want you guys to be able to get one. I want you guys to be able to go to Vape Happy site who are interested in having 16 airflow options. I want you guys to be able to buy one right now if you want, but you don't have that choice and I know from looking at Vape Happy site right now Vape Happy is the exclusive distributor of the Dark Horse RDA. You can only get it from Vape Happy. And you got to get on a wait list with them. That sucks. That's definitely a con. I hate that. So those are the many pros and a few cons. Let's go ahead and dive down. I'm going to show you guys this sucker. This Dark Horse all broken down. How the airflow works. Oh yeah. Here is the Dark Horse packaging. Flap is held on by a magnet. Pop that sucker open. You've got Steam Angel. Okay, this is the manufacturer, Steam Angel Technology warranty card. Take that off. And then inside, you've got your RDA. It comes with a stainless steel drip tip, that wide bore black Delrin drip tip, a Delrin drip tip adapter up top, and then it's got four grub screws and an Allen key screw as well. And here are those grub screws and Allen key screw I was talking about. Here's the dark horse all disassembled. You've got the deck, the outer barrel, the inner barrel, the top cap slash Delrin insulator, the wide monster Delrin insulator, and then the stainless steel drip tip. And up close of the deck first, see that gold plated positive post and it's got a three post design. Okay, even though these negative posts are milled into the deck, there are spaces, just like I mentioned. I like it, I like the flavor. It's really refreshing compared to most of these other RDAs nowadays where the negative posts are actually a part of the outside of the deck, if you know what I'm saying. Look at those post holes, monsters. 2.7 millimeters in diameter. Actually, you know what? This is a more shallow deck than most. It's like the Igo W deck well. You've got these two O-rings that hold the top cap in place and it is pretty loose, but it's convenient and it doesn't leak out of here. I haven't had any leaking out of this section down here. Here's the base. As you can see, the gold plated adjustable pin. I didn't mention that. You can adjust the pin, which is a major plus. 510 threads, buttery smooth. Threads on this device are buttery, buttery. Okay, quality's great. Designed in the USA, and then you've got your serial number. And here is the logo. There are your Phillips head screws that tighten down to make connection. And again, you've got two options. You can use these Phillips head screws, 
or the grub screws that come with it as well. Okay, look at that, that nylon insulator down there. That's the flat design that Steam Engine is talking about. That keeps the positive post from spinning. Here is the outside barrel, as you can see, the Dark Horse logo. And then on each side, you've got these three slots, okay? See how they're parallel? The three slots parallel. Look closely, you can see it. Skinny slot, fatter slot, and then fattest slot. And it's just like that on the other side. Skinny, fat, fatter inside of the outer barrel. Here is the inner barrel that attaches onto the deck. Okay, look at this. Look at these airflow options. What? Let me show you how this works. Now you take the outer barrel, slide it over the inner barrel, and boom. That's in single air hole, single coil mode. Thin, fat, fatter. And you can see how it's got the strip of metal cutting that airflow in half. That really does make a difference. Now to adjust it, you either turn it to the left, right there, to where these two slots, vertical slots, are showing, or you turn it to the right, to where these two vertical slots are showing, and they're different because you're getting different airflow. Here's the cool part. You could take this off, we're still in single air hole mode, and all you're gonna do is just flip it. Okay, flip it, and what this does is when you slide it over the barrel just like this, Boom, look at that. You've got one slot, one slither of airflow versus two. Now, if you want to adjust it to tighten it down even more, turn it to the right or turn it to the left. And the same thing goes for your dual or quad coil airflow mode. One slot, turn it to the right, turn it to the left. Now our closer off to the most closed off you can get and it's the same exact thing for single airflow mode. What you do is you turn it to the left, boom, stop there. And that's pretty much the most closed off you can get in dual coil, quad coil mode for each side because it's the same on this side as it is on the other side. If you turn it to the right a little bit, now this setup is a little bit airier than the one I just did, but it's different and you get different flavor. Or you can just go wide open. Pull the sleeve off, flip it, and watch this. It gets airier. You've got that slither or that slot running through the middle. Same thing. Turn it. Leave these two open. Turn it. Leave these two open. Or you can leave it wide open. Pop it on there. And boom, close her off, leave these two open, close her off on this side, leave these two open, flip it, and what it does is it cuts down on the air. See that? Cuts it pretty much in half. You can turn it just like this, leave these two slithers open. If you go further, it's just going to open up more air holes across the board. I mean, you could do what you want, and that's the beauty of it, but this is the way I've been doing it. Or you turn it this way, leave these two slots open on both sides. So many options, guys. So many options. When you've got your airflow nailed down, here's the top cap with the adapter, the drip tip Delrin adapter, and then this threads in here, threads in here, screws onto this. Smooth, 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 smooth threads. Tighten that sucker up. Pop it on there in front of your coil or coils. Stainless steel drip tip that it comes with. Pop that in there. Or we could take this Delrin drip tip adapter out and to do so, just push down, comes out just like that. Look at this monster. Whoa, biggest drip tip that I've seen to date. And the way it works is this goes underneath, pops in to place just like that. Hold this in place, screw it in. 
Now for the limited edition Mike was telling me about, those guys got this white Delrin massive monster drip tip and the white Delrin adapter. I like the white better than the black, it just looks cleaner. I do want to mention this, whenever you flip this ring, it always makes the horse, the dark horse logo upside down. That's another con I got to mention. It's a little nitpicky, but it is a con because this thing is meant to be flipped. I think, you know what, they should have one that is upside down on one side for one flip and right side up on the other. I think that would be great because at least every time you flip it, one side would be right side up and then every time you flip it again, the other side would be right side up, if that makes any sense. So that is the Dark Horse RDA. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. So that is the Dark Horse RDA. You guys know where I received it from. Vape Happy, bevapehappy.com. Here's a link. I'll have a link in the description as well. $79.99 for a high-end RDA that does what this does. Hell yeah, I think it's worth it. If Mike hadn't sent this to me for a review, I would have definitely tried to buy it. But the problem is, it's not accessible. You can't get one. Keep saying that. You got to get on a wait list. Blows. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.